asparagus soup. That's right, I'm going to show you how to make this unbelievably easy and classic spring soup. And if you're wondering, does it taste as delicious as it looks? You bet your asparagus it does. But anyway, we always get lots of food wishes for vegetable soups, and this is one of my all-time favorites. And it's always a great sign when a recipe starts with a chunk of butter. So we're going to melt some butter over medium heat in a soup pot. As soon as that melts, we're going to dump in a finely diced onion, along with a large pinch of salt. And the reason I diced it small is because we want this to soften and sweeten, and that will happen quicker if the pieces are a little smaller. And because the asparagus cooks so quickly in this recipe, we need to make sure the onions are perfectly soft in this stage. Otherwise, you're going to be pureeing undercooked onions into your soup, and it will just not have that same delicious sweet flavor. So take your time. Make sure they get nice and soft and golden. That took me about 10 minutes or so. And at that point, we're going to add some chicken broth and or stock. Of course, you can use vegetable stock. I'm also going to add a couple cups of water. And then we're going to raise the heat up to high to bring this up to a simmer because I want to simmer those onions for another 15 minutes. And that's for two reasons. It's going to make sure the onions are beautifully sweet and fully cooked. And it's also going to give us the perfect amount of time to prep our asparagus. So let it come up to a simmer on high, then reduce your heat to medium, and just let it simmer like that while you work on your asparagus. So we're going to head over to the cutting board. We're going to grab a few spears in our hand. We're going to cut the tips off and then simply go down the spear about every inch, cutting like that. And by the way, we are going to strain this, so do not worry about the woodiness near the bottom. You can cut all the way. And that is all there is to it. You can do that, right? That's what I thought. So we're going to want to do about two pounds of that. Of course, those have been thoroughly washed first. Once that's done and once our stock has simmered for 15 minutes, go ahead and dump in the asparagus. We're going to turn the heat back on to high. And we're going to cook that asparagus, stirring occasionally for about, I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes or until they're just barely tender. They should still stay somewhat green, but if you take the back of a wooden spoon and press it against your pot, they will smash. And that is the perfect doneness right there. So we don't want to undercook them, just trying to keep them bright green. All right, we need to cook it long enough to get rid of that bitterness. And of course, on the other hand, we don't want to go too far. Otherwise, they're just going to get all mushy. That color will turn kind of a yucky gray green, and nobody wants to look at that. So try to get them right in that sweet spot, literally, where they're still green, but just barely tender. Once that happens, you're going to turn off the heat, and we're going to puree this perfectly smooth. I'm going to use a stick blender. You can use a regular blender or food processor. Be very careful, of course. And by the way, I was experimenting here with an overhead light on the stove, but it was making these brutal shadows, which was really bothering me. So let me turn that off. There we go. And this, of course, is time-lapse. That took about three minutes. You want to get it as smooth as possible. All right, it's going to look something like that. I just love that color green. So beautiful. Okay, now that that's done, you could eat the soup like this, but I'm going to suggest we strain it to make the texture a little finer, a little fancier. So we're just going to pass that through a mesh strainer. And you can see it's going to catch all those tougher fibers. So if your spears were sporting wood at the bottom, this is going to catch all of that. So anyway, there we go. Mine strained, looking gorgeous. We're going to turn the heat back on to low at this point. We're going to season it up with a little bit of cayenne pepper, some finely and freshly ground black pepper, a good amount of salt. Under-seasoned vegetable soups are the devil's playground. So a nice big pinch of salt. And then it is, after all, called cream of asparagus. So I'm going to throw in a half a cup of heavy cream. All right, it sounds funny to say that cream is optional in a cream of asparagus, but it really is. If you're really watching the calories, it could be omitted. But it really does increase the gorgeousness of this soup by, I'm going to say, I don't know, 50 to 60%. So I hope you put some in. By the way, extra credit if you use homemade creme fraiche. That is just unreal in this. All right. And believe it or not, that cream of asparagus soup is pretty much done. Of course, we're going to give it one last taste just to be sure. And once you're happy with it, you can go ahead and start ladling that up into some hot bowls. But I'm going to show you one extra optional step because I know you fancy yourself as some kind of gourmet foodie type person. We're going to do a little lemon parmesan cream. And all that is is a splash of whipping cream in a bowl. We're going to add some finely grated Reggiano Parmesan, a little bit of lemon zest, and we're just going to whisk that up for just a minute. It's just going to thicken ever so slightly. All we're doing is introducing a little bit of air so that it kind of sits up on the surface of the soup, and you'll see in one second. So ladle your soup into the bowl. Drizzle a little bit of that Parmesan lemon cream on top. We'll take a wooden skewer and give it a little stir to give it kind of a design. All right, don't try to do a design. Do this mindlessly. Let the bamboo think for you. And once you've done that, maybe a little more lemon zest, maybe a little sprinkle of cayenne, the red merging with that yellow to form orange, which will remind everybody of sunny days and that warmer spring weather that's right around the corner. And how did it taste? Incredible. We're going to stir in that creamy topping, 
the texture is so smooth and silky. The flavor is just pure asparagus in all its sweet, mild glory. Just a perfect bowl of asparagus goodness. Oh, and by the way, you know whose favorite soup this is? Britney Spears. <laughs>